Hi friends, this is Denaro Research and welcome to the part number 6 of Cryptocurrency Arbitrage Tutorial. In this video series I will show you how to create your own cryptocurrency arbitrage bot. In the previous video we finished implementation of data analyzer and today we start to work with position manager. Position manager is a model that is responsible for position size calculation. Let's have a quick look on some requirements that we need to implement to make position manager work. Here are some important requirements to position sizing. In order to perform trade, all these three requirements should be met. So the first one, our position size should be less or equal to our account balance. That's pretty obvious and it means that we need to have some money to perform trade. So what should check our account, check whether we have some money there and if everything is fine, check the second requirement. Position size should be greater or equal to minimal position size. Every cryptocurrency exchange has its unique requirement to minimal position size. For instance, Polonix allows you to trade with small positions, but Bitfinex requires position size to be about $50 equivalent. So, our trading bot should request information from exchange about position sizing and check whether our position size meets minimal position size requirement. If this requirement is met, then check the last requirement. And finally, position size should be less or equal to highest bid or lowest ask size. That means bot needs to get highest bid amount and lowest ask amount, compare them, pick the smallest number and check whether our position size is equal or less than this the smallest number. As you see, despite multiple requirements, logic of position manager is pretty simple and we can start implement it. Today we'll implement the first requirement and it can be split in two tasks. So the first one, we need to implement functions that will request balance from Bitfinex and the second one will implement functions that will request balance from Polonix and we'll pull everything together, of course. So let's start coding. Let's begin with Bitfinex. In order to get balances information from Bitfinex Exchange, we need to run function wallet balances from Bitfinex API node library. But uh, please remember that uh, in order to run this function, we need to create API keys in advance. But I will show you how to do that later. On the right hand side you see the example of the output from this function. As you see it is array of objects and every object has key type. This type can be deposit, exchange or trading. For our needs we need only objects that have type exchange. That means at this information from a spot exchange wallet, which is not margin wallet or funding wallet. Also, every object has currency key, which can be any currency that is tradable on Bitfinex that has uh, some coins there. Amount, which is total amount of coins in the wallet and available amount, which is amount of coins available for trading. So once we get this output, we need to filter it by type and pick only objects that have type exchange. And from those objects, pick currency value, which can be BTC or any other, and available value. So let's go to bfixtrade.js and implement getBalance function. The first thing we need to do is to create REST constant to work with REST API from Bitfinex. So const REST equals to BFX REST. We'll use REST API version 1 because it is more stable as for me. And let's go down and create function 
which is called get balance, which will be function. And this function has only one parameter callback. Callback. Okay. Now let's send post request to Bitfinex with wallet balances function. So in order to do this, we need to type rest wallet balances and this function has callback, which is error and data parameters. So let's implement this callback. If we have any error, then we'll console log this error message. Console log error to stream. If we don't have any errors, so else we'll return data in callback. Callback data. It's very simple. Before we move further, let's implement the same function for Polonix. In order to get balances information from Polo, we need to send post request with return balances command. Here example of the output. As you see, this is very simple and actually much simpler output than from Bitfinex. Because in this case, key is a coin name and value is the amount. And amount will be easily accessible through this format. But unfortunately, Polonix has no official Node.js library. And in this tutorial, I will use some customized library that I will share with you in the description to this video. I have created API folder inside markets folder and placed their Polonix.js file, which is customized Polonix API, REST API wrapper. And in order to get balances, we need to run this return balances function. So let's go to polotrader.js and implement get balances. So firstly, let's import this library, create constant, constant, let's call it polo rest, and it is equal to require. API Polonix and create another constant Polo rest which is equal to new Polo rest object and inside this object we need to provide API key and API secret. We'll create key and secret later. So now let's go and create get a balances function. Get balance function and as in Bitfinex case it will have only one parameter called back. And let's implement this function. In order to do that, let's type polo rest return balances. And this function has callback, which has two parameters, error and data. Let's implement callback. So it will be pretty simple, like in Bitfinex case. If we have error, then we'll console log error message. Console log error. Else, we'll return callback with data. Well, 
that's all. Let's save. And now we have to pull all balances together. To do that, let's create another file in markets and call this file balance.js. And let's begin to work with this file. Firstly, we need to import Polo Trade JS and Bitfinex Trade JS. So let's create constants for these two libraries const polo trade, which equals to require polo trade copy this row and create same constant for Bitfinex. bfx trade polo bfx trade let's also create balance object let's leave it empty for now and export this object model export equals to balance. Now let's work with balance object. Balance object will have one property which will be balance matrix. Balance matrix and it will have two objects inside. Inside one object for Polo which will be empty and one for Bitfinex. Bitfinex, which will be also empty. And two functions. First function would be update balance. Function, let's leave for now without parameters. This function will populate balance matrix. And the second function would be get balance, which will pull balance information from balance matrix. Function also leave it empty without parameters. Well, this is all for today. In the next video, we'll continue implementation of balance JS file and all these functions. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!